So there are stats out there where they tell you you failed to pass the ball 10 times, yeah. you lost the ball 5 times exactly. and because of that you will need to learn how to pass the ball exactly. and 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 blah 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 blah. Exactly. Exactly. It's it's like that. Yeah. They will, they will look let's say for a midfielder like me they will say how many interceptions did you have? How many times did did you for uh, fall back, yes. how many times did you sprint, how many times did you shoot on goal off the target yeah. they will be looking at how many assists you make this is where you get to play yeah. but still as I said uh, for our case like even if you did everything because for me yeah. every time I got a chance I you played on my yourself. top yeah. I, at my top yeah. I made a couple of assists yeah. I scored in the MDC I scored uh, in the league yeah. but still it wasn't enough because, as I said, football is played on and off, and the, off pitch. the pitch. So there was something wrong that was done, yeah. and I think it's still being done yeah. because I can see many players, they go, they play one year, and then they, they come back, yeah, exactly. or they, they don't play in their clubs. Yeah. It's not about talent because talent-wise, I'm sure Uganda has a very, very unique talent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, you are pirates, you're with Ovono, you're with Majoro, uh, you're putting on the shirt 24, and uh, you wake up in the morning and Eric Tinkler has left. And uh, I'm sure that had a lot of impact on you. Yes, it had exactly, because this is the guy who believed in me, this is the guy who bought me. So when we woke up, actually we, we, we had come back for, for holidays, it was in December, this is when they... They sacked him, yes. um, and all of a sudden they brought a coach uh, who who is not familiar with Ugandans who had the problem with uh, David yes. uh, when he was in Kaiser Chiefs. So yes. I think this this was an, another problem because at the time when I went there, I even didn't train when they called me back for for the preseason. I didn't even train with the team. The guy just called me in the office. Actually, no, in the before every training there you have. A class yes. you have to first sit session. yeah they, they tell you exactly what are you going to do in this training so you leave the 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 sit the the players room yes. knowing exactly what are you going to do yes. so this guy called me this time i went there the coach, the coach. must have been mushin yes mushin then yes. He, he asked who's mugera yes. then i rose up then he said okay no problem then after this, we are going for gym session. The yeah. next day, they tell me, uh, you have an offer, you, you're going for a loan. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We are going to get straight into that, uh, that when Mushin Etrigal, if I could mention his name very well, joined Orlando Pirates, uh, that's when uh, the loan option came up. And uh, the option was Mpumulanga Black Aces, which is now Cape Town City. It's defunct, but Cape Town City is now the one in charge of the, of, of, of the team. Um, how did you take that and um, why, you, why did you turn down the loan move? Let's be honest, you didn't go. <laughs> there were actually two. Yeah. There was even Cheaper United for that offer. Yeah. But... Um, I would say I was tired of South Africa by then. My mind was saying I should leave this place. I should go somewhere else because I saw a lot of things. Uh, I got a lot of challenges. So yes. I was like, no, 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 no. I have to leave this place. Yeah. This is where this is not where I belong. I because me, I knew from from the start from here. Yeah. I don't sit outside. So yeah. my head was booming. So why why do I have why, to sit yeah. here? Yeah. Well, yet even I can see I'm better than the players. So. Yes. And so then the offer was there for, for buying me yes. uh, in uh, Ethiopia. Yes. Then I said, no, 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 I don't want a, a deal for South Africa. For South Africa. Yeah. I just need my release. Yeah. Then we talked for a couple of time because they didn't want to release me exactly. Yes. But they just wanted to loan me. Then I come back maybe after one year, as they always do. Yes. But uh, you turned it down. I turned it down. Then I said, I should. Uh, it's better I go back. Did you, did you have a meeting with uh, Mr. Ivan Koza about this situation and what, what did you talk about? Yes, I did. I did. He told me exactly the same things. He was telling me, um, I'm still young. I need to, to get more, some, some uh, uh, playing time in another club in uh, South Africa that, that doesn't have it. The, the, the same pressure like Pirates. Um, because he wanted me to stay. He said, you're still young, we need you, your talent, but yeah. you need to, to, to get more playing time. I, I listened to him, 
but then I had to make my own decision. Yeah. And um, it's very important to note that uh, your contract was still on. Is it you decided to terminate it? Yes. It's me that decided. It's not the club. Because if, if, it wasn't, if, it, if it was the club, then it would just terminate the contract. They, they couldn't put me uh, uh, on the transfer, transfer list. Yeah. Because if, if the club is releasing a player, they don't put you on transfer list. Yes. Because they need you. Yeah. They need to get money from you. They know how you're worthy. So yeah. they wanted me to stay, but to go for a loan, then I come back. Which, which, which me, I didn't, didn't, I, didn't wa yeah, I didn't work for me. All right, so uh, in my little understanding of football, when a club, when the player decides to terminate the contract, there is no compensation. Were you compensated at Pirates? Of course they didn't, because uh, it's me who decided to leave. And me, I didn't care about that. Me, I, my life, I don't care about money that much, because I know money comes and go. So me, I look at where I, I'm treated very well, where I'm comfortable. So I didn't look at this money, because even... Uh, I was going to get a new deal and I was expecting money, so right. I didn't go for, for compensation. Yes, Amugara, do you regret leaving South Africa? Um, if, if, let's say, if you gave it a try and went to Chipa or Mpumalanga Black Aces, uh, do you think probably you'd have had bigger opportunities than what you have now? Would you regret leaving South African football? Yes, I do. I do regret a lot uh, because... Uh, I had given myself two years to yeah. playing in PSL, then I'll be in Europe. Yeah. Uh, but since I left, uh, things turned the other way. Yeah. I do really. Uh, you could have managed. It I time. could. I, I could. Uh, yeah. I could have played uh, there where they wanted me to go. Then I would see what 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 could come next because, as I said, the pressure is not the same. Yeah. Uh, there you can be, you can play comfortably. You can showcase your talent. You can do everything you want to do on the ball, and you can show exactly what you are. But uh, you know, when you're young, you make some decisions, some decisions that yeah. are not good, but yeah. you think they are good. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's why every time you have to do a decision, you have to, you have to think and you have to ask some people. Yeah. Th this also goes out to the young footballers in Uganda. That Exa to exactly, yeah. exactly. Because uh, if if you do uh, decisions with like from your heart, sometimes you make mistakes. Yeah. So you have to always ask or inquire from uh, from people who have been there. They will advise you. Because let's say if I if I got advice from Dennis, it would be a different case because he has. He has been in there yeah. for for many years. Many years yeah. He was not playing, and he was in the same situation. Yeah, he was in the same, even even in the worst situation, because yes. they were loaning him to one club. Then they, this this club loans him again. Yeah. So for him, if I got advice from him, it would be a different case. All right. Uh, thank you for your honesty there, yes, sir. Let's move on because um, you're a free agent at uh, Orlando Pirates. You're back in Kampala, and uh, the phone is buzzing off a hook. People are calling you left, right, and center. But you decide to join St. George in Ethiopia, a team that has lots of pedigree, by the way, uh, because uh, they're giants that side. Um, I know there was a financial reward to all of this, but were you comfortable and were you at peace with the decision you made to join St. George in, e in Ethiopia? Well, first, uh, to correct you, yeah. <laughs> before I left South Africa, my contract was already in Uganda. It yes. was in Kampala. So it was a matter of me coming and signing it, money coming to my account, then I traveled to St. George. Wow. I was comfortable with this yeah. because I thought here I'm going to be myself again, play again like I used to play in uh, Victoria University and URA. Yeah. So picking this, I was comfortable because I knew I was going to play and this is what I wanted. I didn't want to sit outside. And then uh, the person who brought this deal, uh, I believed in him, I trusted him. Yeah. So when he told me I didn't look back. You, you, you hopped on. Yes. And you hopped on the Ethiopian Airlines flight <laughs> to Addis Ababa. All right, time in Ethiopia uh, at St. George. How was it? It's a different culture. Um, how did you adjust to that? And um, how was the experience basically at St. George? Well, like pirates, they had also their challenges. Yeah. But uh, here I managed to play. I played the full season. I played, I played 30 games, if I'm not 32. 
uh, in the league and uh, the, the cup. That means I, I only missed like five games in these African countries. Yes. People, that they don't know this. Yes. Even if you play very well, yes. the players, your teammates, they would not like it because if everyone is yeah them. if everyone is singing your name then they take it personal, take it personal. they didn't uh, me or donkara uh, is in the the foreigners yeah. to say Even no more was yeah there, so. the foreigners they play very well they yeah. like them the, the fans if, if the fans love you they'll call out your name so yes. the players didn't like this so you, you could see it there was a bit of infighting yes infighting am yeah. yes among us the, the teammates and yeah. even the 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 senior players there yeah. who are Ethiopians, we are playing in the, the same position. So it was kind of tough, yeah. but I managed to, 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 to handle it. Okay. Um, uh, d what did you win at St. George? Any honors that you can tell us? I won the league with yeah. St. George yeah. that one year that I was there. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, apart from uh, winning the league in uh, St. George, uh, I'm pretty much sure you also played a few coordinator games. Yes. Yeah, and Champions League preliminary cup, Confederations Cup. Yes, I played uh, in the Champions League. Yeah. We we played in the in the group stages. Yes. Yes, the that group where we we were in with the uh, El Ahly with the uh, it was El Ahly, yeah, I think. Yes. Uh, the, this Tunisia team. Yes. Then uh, with Sundowns. Yes. So this is I got even a chance to play in the Champions League because here in Uganda I was playing in the Confederations Cup. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Um, you spent three years there, two years? In St. George? Yes. In St. George, one year. Yes. Then one year in Fasil Kenema. Before we go to Fasil Kenema, because that's where I, I got the information that you sign players at your will. <laughs> so, uh, yes, Amugara, after St. George, uh, you still are you're a free agent. And then uh, Fasil uh, Kenema comes up, a team that I think was new or something, and you decide to join it. Did you have other offers elsewhere? Didn't you want to prove yourself elsewhere apart from Ethiopia? Uh, yes, um, I would say the deals were there, yeah. but I didn't want to make the same mistake I made leaving uh, South Africa. So I decided to cope in uh, to stay for one or two years in South, uh, in sorry Ethiopia, yeah. where the deals offers were ma very many, yeah. but me. I love to choose the hardest ones, yes. so that's why I chose uh, a club that was not known by mostly many Ugandans. Yeah. If, if I'm not mistaken, none knew it. <laughs> so uh, but it existed. Yeah, but it existed. Yes. Uh, some people are criticizing why he leave uh, Saint George to go to Fasil Kenema, yeah. but offers were there even for Ethiopian coffee. Yeah. Even up to now, they are still running for my signature. But I, I love to to work the hard way yes so i chose fasil kenema okay and uh you spent a season there as well yes uh, i spent one and a half oh, one and a half one season and a half and uh off you went again as a free agent i'm insisting on this because you you're, you're moving along with bullion vans <laughs> <laughs> well agent. well yes the fans many fans they do even fasil kenema fans uh saint george fans yeah. Even even South Africans, I have some fans there who say why you left, why you should come back, yeah. because they love what I do, yeah. and uh, it's always me. I don't look at money mostly, as I said before. I look at how you treat me. If you mistreat me, if you do something, I I okay. see it's, it's not right yeah. repeatedly. Yeah. We cannot work together. Okay, so uh, yes, sir. In between you playing for Orlando Pirates and uh, y y y Fasil Kanama, and of course the team that you joined recently um, in the Ethiopian Premier League, there's been the cranes going on. There's been so many tournaments. There's been qualifiers and everything. Just to take you back, uh, when Mitchell was coach here for the Uganda Cranes for about five years, you, you, you got a couple of calls, you know, to come and represent the country. But at some point, um, it made it, it, it was out there that you are not happy with uh, how uh, you know the status quo was. I mean, you thought you should actually be in that team playing, but you weren't. Um, I, I would be bold enough to ask you, do you think you're not good enough for playing for the Uganda Cranes? I'll say I'm better enough to play. Yeah. I'm good enough to be there. Yeah. But uh, you, can't, you can't say exactly what the technical team wants. Yeah. 
for the Mitchell's case, I knew because yeah. uh, his system of play was different for, from the way I play. Yeah. Then um, being there, of course, I had to be there. But playing his system of play was different, so I knew if and I go, I will not play. Yeah. If I can play, I'll get a little playing time. So yeah. Yeah. I knew everything because I'm a professional. Uh, I learned a lot from South Africa, yeah. so I can see and I know what exactly this coach needs. Yeah. If, if, but I cannot change myself. Sometimes, yeah. me, I'm not a, an aggressive player. Yeah. I use my in, use um, mind. mind that yeah. much. But yeah. then, this is what he wanted. The coach wanted people who can fight too much, yes. uh, and which is okay. So I knew I can play if I get a chance. I'll show what I can do. And, but and, and indeed you got. There are a couple of games that yes, you played for the Uganda Cranes. Yes, I got some games. Yeah. Then uh, I played. Yeah. But not as often. But not as often. Yeah, but uh, I, I, I'm standing here on pitch side and I'm thinking that uh, you still believe you can still feature for the national team. Because now we are making AFCON, uh, we are appearing there as more often as possible. Of course, yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, I still have a chance. Um, I'm, I'll say this. Yeah. Uh, I was disappointed when the coach left Disabri yeah. because this is the guy who exactly the way I play, this is what he wants. Even when he saw me for the first time, he told me this is the kind of player I want yeah. to use. Yeah. Then, but I I don't know what happened next. I I don't know. You know, you know, football is very technical. funny and technical. Yeah. So sometimes you can think you're there, but you're not. You're not. Oh, you're there, but the coach wants something else from yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. So exactly, sometimes me, I ask them. Now, because now I know it's it, it's my right as a professional player yeah. to ask the coach why I'm not there. Exactly, so yeah. I always ask if I'm not there, I'll ask why I'm not there. Am I not good enough? Then they will say, yes, you're good enough, but maybe your time is not yet. Even for Mitchell, I was talking with him direct. Yes. He told me, yes, you're a good player, but your not chance yet. was not yet there. Yeah. So you, you well put that uh, you're still, of course, uh, ready for any cranes call up and you'll be available uh, to play if uh, the team is summoned. Uh, so right now you're still in Ethiopia. Yes, I'm, I'm still in Ethiopia. I still have a contract with uh, Shire until February. Yeah. Then I'll see what next because they want me to, to renew. Okay. They wanted me to renew before yeah. I left, but yeah. uh, I'm thinking otherwise <laughs> a typical yes anyways um let's get off the pitch a little bit yes you hold a i mean a degree in uganda we say you graduated uh, with the uh, honors first of all how important is it for a football player to go to school and when do you apply this school knowledge if the player has the opportunity to go to school well um it's very important for any player to, to go to school, first of all. Uh, I would encourage the young ones who are still there, who still have a chance. Now it, it is even easier. Yeah. You can start from the primary, secondary, university, free of charge. Yeah. It's very easy now. If you get a chance, you have to grab it because you really need it. Because may, let's say contract-wise, you have to read your contracts. No one should understand for you. Uh, Many people make mistakes in signing contracts because they cannot read. Some they can read, but they cannot interpret what they are seeing in the contract. Yeah. Uh, me, I think it's it's one of the things that have helped me. I know my my. I know everything that I'm signing. I yeah. can read. I can interpret the rules. I can know everything. I can know where I can where I can terminate my contract, yes. if you do something. I, I know everything now because I got the knowledge. Yeah. And even my course that I did, there was some somewhere I did law some things. Yeah. So I know, know I know the laws. Yeah. So if you get a chance as a player, yeah. you have to grab it. Yeah. Even this is what I'm encouraging these young boys here. Yeah. The good thing we have the national coach under 15 coach yes. Hamza Ultalo is from here yes he 
make sure these boys get schools in yeah. secondary. Then me, I do for the university because I always connect many, and many are from here. They are in Kumba University and YMCA. Oh, that's fantastic. So off the pitch, you're also a philanthropist. You're helping in one or another, which is which is really, really, really good. Uh, so what does the future hold for Yasa Mugerua off the pitch? Um, I know footballers who have foundations. I know of people who are also building schools, churches, um, did your drug but built a hospital. Uh, are you going to build a hospital in that aid? Well, I'm into uh, this. Um, I do help some people, but I do it off the camera. Yeah, yes. where, where need be, I'll, I'll go for that. Yeah. Uh, I do with fair play. Yes. There's uh, an, um, a group of members from fair play. Yeah. We do this, there are still footballers mainly, mostly from here. Yeah. They give back to the community, yeah. they visit uh, the disabled, the hospitals. Yeah. So I'm there with them, but uh, personally I do also mine yes. behind the cameras. Yeah. And if need be, uh, I'll maybe next year I'll make it official, then uh, I start a uh, uh, foundation yeah. which I'll name uh, after my father yeah. then um, because still he was also the same guy who was helping many people in Natete he was the chairman of that place ever since I was young until when he passed on, passed on. Yeah. so uh, I'm going to start a foundation next year yeah. uh, then I start giving back through that name yeah. uh, not through my name because I've been giving through my name now yeah. I have to put it to my father yeah. um, I do a lot of things uh, for my family and then uh, uh, I do in real estate now, I deal in real estate yeah. and ne farming, yeah, <laughs> so okay. this, is what I do. this is what I do yeah. of the pitch yeah. and, off season. and off season, so when I'm here I get little time to come on the pitch, yeah. but if I get a chance to come, I even I come and train with these guys here. Yeah. Uh, it's been fantastic, yes, uh, joining us on pitch side. Um, I keep telling people out there that uh, so many people that watch these interviews get inspired and uh, they learn a lot, especially footballers. We are footballers in Uganda that will pick a leaf on, 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 on you regretting to leave South Africa, but again, you know, trying to make things better when you're playing in Ethiopia and all. So I, I really appreciate you. Thank you for joining me on Pitch Side. And Thank you uh, for visiting us here. <laughs> I'm still at the House of Talent, you said? Yes. <laughs> uh, in Natete, uh, with Yasa Mugera. But uh, you all that are watching me on uh, Pitch Side, all you have to do to catch up on all this latest information, just go on to YouTube, look for Pitch Side with Peter Tabu, subscribe, and you'll have all the latest content. For now, I'm out. Cheers.